two years ago, this guy, Anon Kosai Khan, whom we will call Anon from now on, was left by his girlfriend of the time which made him feel incredibly stressed. Besides the normal hair loss that he was having, the amount of stress added by the breakup made him lose even more hair than ever. So he started taking finasteride 1mg to start getting his life back on track and recover his hair. Unfortunately, Anon reported having side effects, meaning sexual side effects by finasteride. He didn't know if those side effects were caused by himself, meaning the stress that he was having in his head, or if it was actually really the finasteride. In any case, he had to stop the treatment. Fortunately for him, he had another choice for combating hair loss, namely topical finasteride. So that's what he started taking. Did he experience side effects? No just hair regrowth. Not only did his hair look much better after only two months, but he also recovered his confidence and strength to go out again and get past this difficult moment in his life. This is only one of the examples of what topical finasteride can do for us. People who need a confidence boost but are afraid of the potential side effects. Hi there, my name is Al Garrido and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about topical finasteride and compare it with oral finasteride. After today's videos you should know all about the safety hair results and long-term effects of topical finasteride for hair loss. Plus, if you stay until the end of the video, I will share with you another example of a user that combined topical finasteride with minoxidil, which gave him an absolutely incredible hair regrowth. So, for those who haven't still seen my other videos, I too suffer from hair loss. When I started losing my hair being just 19, I did some research like many of you did and found out that there are some hair loss treatments that really work, such as minoxidil or finasteride. I started to take finasteride 1mg a day and slowly but surely my hair loss stabilized and I even got to regrow some of the hair that I lost in the months before when I was in denial. However, when you hear this story, it sounds like I made the decision of taking finasteride from one day to the other with no contemplation. That was surely not the case. I too heard the horrific stories of people who claim that they have sexual side effects from finasteride such as erectile dysfunction or low libido. And it's kind of natural to think that this can happen. If you break it down, hair loss occurs because our androgens like dihydrotestosterone are interfering with the healthy growth of our hair follicles. Androgens are the most important cornerstone of what makes men. The most famous and important androgen is of course testosterone. So if you take a drug such as finasteride, that helps to get rid of all those androgens in the hair follicles. It is normal to think that it can also affect in a negative way the rest of your body. This is however not the case and I will go deeper into this in a minute. But going back to that idea, it is normal that people that first hear about finasteride think of it as a treatment that can get in the way of their own personal health. Many people think, and this was my first thought too, that on the one hand, maybe, yeah, it does make your hair regrow. But on the other hand, at what cost is it worth risking your health or in this case your sexual health for the sake of some hair regrowth? As I said, it is fortunately proven that this is a very narrow way of looking at the picture. And that's not how finasteride really works. First, when we say that finasteride stops the production of androgens, we have to define exactly what we mean by androgens. There are many androgens that are vital to the health of the human body. Testosterone is one of them. However, the good news is that finasteride does not interfere in the production of testosterone in Anyway, what it does is to block the production of another androgen called dihydrotestosterone. This hormone is derived from testosterone and is a much more powerful version of it. And it's dihydrotestosterone, not testosterone, that causes male pattern baldness or hair loss. Finasteride stops the production of dihydrotestosterone, no other androgens. If you wonder what consequences that may have in your body blocking dihydrotestosterone, the short answer is none. Dihydrotestosterone is an important hormone for the human body in the time that we go through puberty. It helps, for instance, to develop our reproductive systems correctly. However, 
After puberty, it's a hormone that stops having a healthy function in our body and starts causing problems such as enlarged prostates and also hair loss. Okay, so overall, that's great news, isn't it? We found more than 20 years ago a treatment that is the closest thing to a cure for hair loss and the only thing you need to do is to take a pill every morning and just forget about it. Okay, so maybe this is the case or maybe not. But if anything is true, is that some people still have those side effects from finasteride. And this is a treatment that unfortunately can't be called the cure for hair loss. To talk about the first point, there are some people that still report having those sexual side effects from finasteride, even if it does not interfere with the production of other vital hormones like testosterone. So how is that possible? Well, that's a question that I also made myself many years ago, and this is what I found so far. When you take finasteride, you create an imbalance in the body. So some of the testosterone in your body gets converted to dihydrotestosterone by an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. What finasteride actually does is inhibit the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, so less and less dihydrotestosterone is created. Around 70% of serum dihydrotestosterone, which is the hormone in your body, gets reduced. So now you have a little bit more of testosterone and less of dihydrotestosterone in your body. But there's a little caveat. That excess testosterone that would have been converted to dihydrotestosterone needs to go somewhere. People may think, great, if I have more testosterone, I will be more muscular, more macho, more everything. But the reality is that some of that testosterone gets converted to estrogen, the female hormone, by a process called aromatization. It's a hormone that men also have naturally in their body in lower quantities than women. So normally you also have it, but now for a short period of time, you have a higher amount of estrogen in the body than before. Normally this is fine because the difference is not so high, but that's the main reason why it is believed that some people still get those sexual side effects. And it is thought that it's because they have this excess in estrogen in their body more estrogen than normal. What is important to note here is that these side effects are extremely rare, only occurring to a 2% of the population. And it is also known that after some time, the body auto-regulates itself and stops to produce this excess estrogen. So and even if some of the people of the population taking finasteride gets those side effects, it's only a 2% of the population, which in my humble opinion is not a lot. But still, it's shitty if you fall into that category. Okay, after all this backstory, let me introduce what could be finally the solution to this problem. Topical finasteride. Imagine a product that would work as well as oral finasteride, but without the side effects that it can give you. Well guys, that's topical finasteride. It has been reported that topical finasteride has, if not better, the same results than oral finasteride, especially if you combine it with minoxidil. And in the right dose, it gets men the desired effect of hair regrowth without affecting the rest of the dihydrotestosterone in your body. I already talked about the dose in another video, which I will put down in the description. Now, for having stayed so far in the video, I will give you now the bonus results of another user who combined topical finasteride with minoxidil for hair loss. But before doing so, please subscribe and give this video a like so I can continue doing these videos for you. Okay, so this other user is just 19 years old and as you can see, has already a very advanced stage of hair loss. He took topical finasteride in combination with minoxidil and just seven and a half months later, he completely and utterly recovered all and every single inch of his hair back. That's incredible and now he looks like Nick Jonas. I applaud this guy for having stayed so long and staying so consistent with the treatment. Of course, he's a very young man, which makes me remember you that as soon as you start with these treatments, the better the results will be. If you want to have another comparison of finasteride with topical minoxidil, click on this video. Or if you want to see my personal journey on finasteride and minoxidil, click on this video below. Until next time, I wish you a happy hair journey. Adios.